Today is the day of the 27th of Rajab. Last night, according to narrations, was the light when the Prophet ascended to the heavens and also when he was given the prophethood. Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Isra, Glory be to the one who took his servant by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque whose surrounding we have blessed, so that we may show him some of our signs. Indeed, he alone is the all-hearing, all-seeing. And then the prophethood. When the prophet was appointed as the prophet, Angel Jibreel came and said, Ikra bi lazi khalaq. This was the first ever verse revealed on the prophet. And he became the prophet. So this night and day has amazing blessings. A day when prayers are accepted. A day when people rejoice in the day when Islam came to the world. When the final religion of Allah came to the world. When Muslims appeared in the form as we know through the Prophet wasallam. So last night when I woke up to pray for the amal of this night, one of the things that I noticed was my son who was two, he started asking for milk. So I went before starting amal, I went and gave him milk. The interesting aspect was I did not think of anything because... I had, we had milk, alhamdulillah. We had sehat. We had health. He could communicate with me. I could understand him what he was asking. And I could fulfill the need by the grace of Allah. So I continued the prayer and then did suhoor for fasting. And after that, I came across a heartbreaking news story. This news story is available on CNN.com. A long article and a video. It's about the situation in Yemen. How children, how babies, how they are facing this famine, how they cannot eat they don't have any food they don't have any water their parents are not eating to feed their children their children don't even have enough food to sustain themselves there were pictures of boys girls like Hassan Ali who stayed in the hospital for 10 days and then died he couldn't breathe there are pictures of bo- of babies of 10 year old, 9 year old, 5, 3, with bones poking from their skin, with thirst exhibited from their lips, where their entire eyes are popping out of their skulls, where the skin is as if there is skin over bones. You won't think of this as a Middle Eastern country or a country. This is what's happening right now and the entire world has turned a blind eye for the past six years for the past six years the saudi regime has been bombarding yemen things have changed now but what saudi government lifted because of covid because they were forced to lift and do a ceasefire last year for the last two months they've blocked all the supplies from going into yemen There are ships after ships docked outside of Yemen that cannot take fuel or food. Without fuel, parents cannot take their children to the hospital. Without fuel, some of the hospitals will not have enough fuel to sustain after a few weeks. And there was pandemonium in hospitals. People were rushing towards doctors. Why would someone want to go to the hospital when everything is fine? 
no everything is not fine and that's why hospitals are the last hope but a lot of people cannot even reach hospitals because there's no fuel and the fuel has been cut off because there are tankers sitting outside Yemen in the Straits of Hormuz but they are not allowed to enter because of the blockade and this blockade is a continuation of the six years of brutalities by the Saudi government. There are 400,000 children at risk. So, this, looking at this as a parent, as a person who has seen a baby in America being fed by the grace of Allah, without having to worry about these issues and seeing these people with their children being clung to them, where they are hopeless, they're helpless, they cannot do anything about their situation, and the entire world has forgotten about them. My heart cries about the situation. I wonder if this was the Islam that Prophet wanted to see. If this is the Islam where a Muslim from Saudi Arabia who claim to be the servants of the two holy shrines, one being the grave of the Prophet, the mosque of the Prophet, and doing this to other Muslims? Don't we remember what happened to Imam Hussain alayhi salam? How he would have felt when his six-month-old baby couldn't get water for three days? What kind of anguish he would have felt? What kind of pain he would have felt just to see the baby? Because the cycle of the baby or of child is very weird. At the beginning, they might get very antsy. Because they're hungry. They might cry then. And after that they'll start becoming weak. Once they start becoming weak, they don't cry. They just go quiet. And quiet. And at that point, they can. there's a struggle to breathe. And once that struggle is over, the death comes. So, dear, whoever is listening, I'm not saying we should send money. There is a lot of support available. I'm not saying we should do something ourselves in front of sending food or something like that. The only request I have is to take an action by communicating our concerns to our local officials. We have seen the difference that we can make when we stand up, when we stand together, when we stand for the right, when we stand against the oppressor. We have seen what we can do in November. We have seen that this is a different world. We now need to make sure that our voices are heard. Those people who don't have any voice, who cannot control their fate, we need to make sure that we are their voice. We will be asked about it. What can we do? I'm going to share a link to this article from at CNN. This is not like my research. This is CNN's research. Please share that article with your local representative, with your state, Congress, Senate representative, whoever you know, or you find it, find them on the internet. Just send them this article. Call their office. Tell them that the situation in Yemen is bad and you need to act. Tweet this article on Twitter. Convey this to your friends, your families, 
so that we start to raise our voice. At the end of the day, we don't control the results. The results are with Allah. What we control is our action. And action, once we do action, results come from Allah. And we have seen that in our life in the last few years. And so my humble request, humble plead, is to be active and not let the world ignore the pain, the anguish of the Muslims, of the poor people of Yemen who cannot even support their own children. Thank you.